Interior situation is worsening right now with the rapid support forces deploying light troops. Uh, uh, the troops that were targeted in the camps now they are moving inside the neighborhoods, controlling main uh, neighborhoods and roads and markets. Uh, the situation is fragile. People are reporting looting. Um, uh, killing in the streets uh, and of course uh, criminal activities all around so the capital right now is uh, not safe for anyone even for the people who are staying in their houses a large influx of people are fleeing the capital after three weeks of the battles uh, some of the people chose earlier to stay in Khartoum they think if they are staying home and they are moving in groups they will be safe but the situation right now is unsafe and most of the houses neighborhoods were looted or robbed or uh, destroyed by the uh, fighting and by criminal groups also there is no progress uh, regarding the peace talks in Jeddah or initial uh, Jeddah peace talks uh, the two sides are imposing their conditions are sticking to it especially RSF are putting hard conditions in order to make a real and long-lasting truce uh, regarding humanitarian aid and the situation it is still um, unsafe for anyone to uh, distribute uh, any aid despite that Saudi Arabia sent aid uh, today to Port Sudan 20 tons of humanitarian aid urgent necessities like food and medicine but it's still unsafe to deploy to Khartoum the capital or other affected areas like West Kar uh, Kurdufan uh, West Darfur and North Kurdufan so uh, there is no improvement on the ground peace talks are not making any progress and the situation is still fragile and the fighting may be prolonged as it's almost one month since the war started on April 15th Naba Muhyiddin CGTN Wadmadani Sudan